Hey guys, everywhere just they shake now. Even President Bola met Tinubu, you know, don't shock for this one now when they grant. Nigerians on, on S, formerly Twitter, they have declared a day of cursing. Okay, some said a day of mourning. Why some said a day of cursing? All these on top of one person here, though, the former justice of Nigeria that just retired, the Honorable Justice Olukayode Ariwola. Nigerians don't talk, say, on the 1st of October, that they're supposed to commence another protest in Nigeria. Uh, Nigerians know they fear. Okay, Nigerians know they fear anybody. That should be the, the, the title of that uh, 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 protest. They said that day, they will declare that day as a cursing day for the former uh, CJN of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Ariwola. According to the uh, Nigerians, you know, who on day said, this man planted a seed, a very bad seed. And they said the seed he has planted in Nigeria, he and his children must reap. You must reap the bad seed you have planted in Nigeria. October 1st has been declared as a day of cursing for the former Justice Ari, Justice Olukayo De Ariwola. This is what Nigerians are saying. So you see, eh, when they say the, the words of men are also the words of God. So all these things is because Nigerians are frustrated with what is happening today in Nigeria. These people, they made our judiciary to be nothing. They reduce our judiciary to nothing. You understand? Because, you know, they want to favor people. They want to favor. And this is really very bad. Judiciary is supposed to be the, the, the poor man last hope. Now, so we used to know before. But it's not like that again. Now, rich man who get money, now they talk. If you get money, you can even go to the judiciary itself. You go buy those people when, when they, even they talk, say, you they oppress them, and these people then go clap their hands. They watch why all these things happen. It's a very big shame at his age. People supposed to be praising him, but no, that is not what is happening. Even as he's going, you know, Nigerians are still laying curse on him. Whether we like it or not, they go say hey, all those things, it not matter. If you can recall when they did for the other man, um, the, the 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 current INEC chairman Yakubo, if that does not have weight, why did Northerners now declare counter course? You understand? Because it was like it was like a, a drama. Those people declare counter course when people are swearing. Though the other the other one said then they counter the course. So if they feel that it's not it's not important, they won't do that. People have to be very careful. You have to be very careful what you do because every action you take affects people neg negatively or positively. And Nigerians are reacting to this because the action it took affected Nigerians negatively. Talking about the 2023 presidential election or everything that happened, Nigerians were like, how, okay, the INEC have taken his decision. Oh, we still have hope in the judiciary. These people, they will bail us. At least they will speak the truth, but that did not happen. Everybody were all disappointed. Before your every eye like this, they changed the Nigerian constitution just to, you know, to sweep them or to suit them. But today, I believe they themselves will be regretting what they did. If for you to know how painful and how worst his ten or worse, the the Oriwa, the speech they gave to him that he was, they said your tenor was very disappointing. You are the worst CJN ever. That is what the the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, you know, you know, actually gave uh, or actually told the Nigerian CJN as he's retiring. As he's retiring as the Chief Justice of Nigeria, that is what that one was their way, you know, you know, their their farewell speech. You understand? They said that there is nothing the ordinary Nigerians will celebrate during external CJN because his tenor was the worst. You understand? Daily Post even reported that Ari Wola has retired as the Chief Justice of Nigeria. 
having clocked the age of retirement. But this human rights organization described Justice Oriwa's uh, uh, Aliwara's uh, tenure as one of the most disappointing in the history of the nation's judiciary, citing they also cite nepotism, they cite alleged corruption and a blunted disregard for the principles of fairness and justice as defending characteristics of, of his leadership. What else do you want to know? They said one of the most uh, troubling aspects of his time in office was the introduction of nepotic practices in the appointed of judges. Are we talking about corruption? Eh? Are we talking about that? Are we talking about fairness? Are we talking about justice? They said this man is nothing to tell him about. At his age, people are still saying things about him. So with this, he should know where he's going already. You know, when people say, heaven, this, this, and that. Now, when something they happen like this, waiting people, they talk about you, now you go tell know where you they go. Whether you they go have fire or you they go uh, uh, what is it called? You they go heaven. And I believe by now our politicians should be aware of where they are going to. This is so sad to be talking about an elderly man and you know, people describing an elderly man at this manner. Now me say you know, try. Now they say they won't cause all these things. If it not happen to you, if you come tomorrow, if you come next tomorrow in future, so People have to be very careful what to do. Everything not be money, 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 money. Ah, you have the money and you have the connection. Hey, don't be hey, don't be disappointed though. Say so once if he just hit you like that, now that one he will come and talk. Not be even money for you to solve that problem. Because the money will be there for you to solve that problem. But you cannot solve it. People have to be very careful. So, guys, Nigerians have declared a day of cursing. Of the, I be swearing. <laughs> I don't know the why I will be swearing of um, uh, cursing the former CJN, uh, Olukayo De Ariwola. They said the bad seed he has planted in Nigeria before he retired, he must reap. He must reap it before he waka go, you know, uh, beyond. Well, Nigerians, hmm. Now I go talk again. Make a drop on for you. I bet share your thought below the, the comment section. Do you think this is the right thing to do? Do you think this is the right thing to do? Or anybody when do anyhow make a collect? What's your opinion on this?